Hey guys, today's review is going to be on the Chuck from ThagBuilt.com. Uh, this was a Christmas gift from my wonderful boyfriend, Grim Green. Uh, I know uh, it never really occurs to me that there could possibly be someone that subscribed to me that's not subscribed to him. Uh, just because he has so many more subscribers than me. But if you haven't, then I'll put a link uh, below. He has some really great informative reviews. So, this is the Chuck. This was the first PV that I ever really wanted. Um, when I first started vaping and I was looking into getting into 6 volts or high voltage, uh, I looked at the Chuck. And that's mainly because um, my first vendor that I really bought uh, a lot of juices from was Tasty Vapor. And they advertise thagbuilt.com, which is where you get the Chuck on their site. So the Chuck is basically appealing because it's completely customizable you can get pretty much any graphic that you want on it. Uh, if you can send it to him in the right file size, um, he can put it on a PV for you. Uh, and you can customize the color of the end caps, the body color. You can get it plain. They have uh, lots of color options on their site. But um, this is the Chuck. You can use it 3.7 or at 6 volts. And uh, it runs for about $80 without shipping it's eighty dollars to anywhere in the US ninety dollars to Canada hundred dollars for international and you can get two chucks for hundred and fifty five dollars anywhere in the US so a little bit of a price break there um, they do also have a little chuck which is strictly 3.7 um, and I believe those are completely customizable as well this happens to be a Vera Bradley print uh, obviously uh, he knows me very well and he knows that um, I'm totally into Vera Bradley. This isn't going to mean much to the guys out there, but the girls are all going to know what Vera Bradley is, and that's pretty much a brand. Um, like, this is my wallet. <laughs> this is a glasses case that I use to, um, you know, carry my PVs in. <laughs> and, um, this is just another sunglasses case that I bought so that I could, uh, travel with extra batteries and, you know, juice and a backup mod, atomizers, whatever. So, he found a high resolution picture of this print, which happens to be green cupcakes, <laughs> um, on the internet, and he sent it in, and he had this made for me for Christmas. It takes a pretty long time to get it. Uh, he ordered it on December 4th, I believe. The money came out immediately. Um, on December 4th or December 5th, and it didn't get here until almost the second week in January. So, I've only had it for a few days, and sadly, I've heard mixed things on this. Some people say it has great customer service, some people think he has awful customer service. I do know that um, Nick sent him three or four, or maybe even five messages, and uh, he didn't reply until after a shipping notice had been sent out to him. Um, I did, however, send him a message because it got close to Christmas. Nick wasn't sure if it was going to get here in time. Um, <laughs> so he went ahead and told me about it. Um, so I went ahead and sent Jeff at Thag Bill a message, and um, he did. He t responded to me in a timely manner within the first day or two. Um, but still no reply to Nick. So, customer service is kind of iffy, uh, but if that's not really important to you and you just care about the product, then you will get it. Um, it looks great. It has a really shiny finish to it. Obviously, I have green end caps um, with, a, with you know, a custom print. It has a well for extra juice. There were a couple flaws on mine. Like, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but... The paint is not exactly all there on the bottom end cap. Like, there's lots of little chips in the paint. There's a few tiny bubbles, um, like you can see in this, where is it? This petal over here, there's like a bubble right here where I guess the paper or whatever he puts on there, sticker, <laughs> decal, uh, got like ripped or something. I don't know. But, um, 
Otherwise, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, my major, major complaints about this are not new. Uh, everybody's kind of said something about it, but uh, it doesn't look like it's going to change. This button is not awesome. Uh, it's a really cheap button. It's like the cheapest button you can find at Radio Shack. And uh, it fire. it's super easy to fire. Um, so when you travel with it, you have to kind of unscrew your atomizer so that it doesn't fire in your pocket. Which is kind of an inconvenience, but whatever. Um, and the threads. This thing threads like a nightmare. <laughs> um, sometimes it goes right on, and other times I have to really fiddle with it. Like, right now it just went right on, but um, other times, like especially if I'm in a rush, it's pretty hard to get on sometimes. Um, I think that would probably be cured with no locks, though, so I'm going to invest in some of that. It vapes like 6 volts, so um, I'm going to show you some vapor production. And this is just a 510 atomizer with a drip tip and Marvel Smooth from Gourmet Vapor. Great vapor production, um, but that's pretty much the juice, I guess. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied. Obviously, this is one of my favorite PVs just for sentimental reasons alone. Um, a lot of thought went into it, and uh, I love it for that reason, and you know, the person that bought it for me. So, um, do I think there's other, better, like, more, how do I want to put this? more conveniently, travel-friendly, whatever PVs out there for 6 volts now. Yeah, I do. Uh, Thag Built's been around for a long time. But if you are a mod collector or you really want a customized PV, this is absolutely for you. Um, it's solid. It's made out of... I think it's um, made out of solid copper. That's what it looks like anyway. Uh... It's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna break. I'm more afraid of the button. See? Now I can't get it on. Um, I'm more afraid of the button going out than anything, but... It's good. It's a good PV. I like it. He did a fantastic, and I mean fantastic, job on the, uh, the print. I mean, if I hold it up to, you know, my wallet... It's camouflage. I mean, it matches perfect. The colors are dead on. He did a great job of matching the paint to the print. Um, it's just a really... It's a really nicely done PV. I mean, with the exception of the few chips on the bottom and the few bubbles in here. But I'm really, really happy with it. It fires every time. I've never had a problem with it not firing. Uh... I love that it catches my juice because I'm a chronic over dripper and it, it uses a convenient battery. You know, it just takes two RCR 123A Tenergies. So, would I recommend it? Yeah, I would absolutely recommend it. If you want a custom PV, go and get it. Uh, my major complaint about it is the button. The button is not an awesome button. Um, but it's not a completely awful button either. So, that's what I have. Bam. I just stole that, right? So that's what's going on with this, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching, and thank you, Nick, for my chuck.